Hello and assalamu alaikum guys, my name is Muhammad Ali and welcome to C Sharp Notepad Project second tutorial. Today we are going to be doing these things. Apply shortcut keys, undo and redo, cut, copy, paste, delete, select all and date and time, bold, italic, underline, strike out and normal. So let's start with this, applying shortcut keys. Okay. Click on file, uh, right click on new and click on properties and find something called shortcut keys you come in here and select the combination for your shortcut key and for this I'm gonna select control N for new and then when I have selected this I just click anywhere okay now this gets selected if you can't see this double click on here you will be able to see this this should be true the same is for open okay you can apply all the keys you want I have applied the rest of those and uh, it's up to you I didn't apply for this redo and undo but it's up to you to apply on them or not now is undo and redo First step would be you go in here, right click and click on here to uncheck or uh, to just disable this. Click in here and disable this. Okay, now go to undo. We are gonna say main main rich textbox dot undo. So when I click on undo, it should be undone. Number one. When when it is undone, we want the undo to be disabled. So we are gonna say undo dot enabled equals false because I have already clicked this. When I have done clicking it, now I sh uh, now the redo should be enabled. You will understand when you look at it. Dot enabled equals true. Okay, just copy this. And click in here and go to redo redo this should be undo should be true and redo should be false okay so when I have clicked on the redo redo should be false and undo should be true now the third step would be how do you know that it is time for you to apply the undo or redo okay so what is the trigger well basically you go in here main rich checkbox text changed and you did you say if if main rich checkbox dot text dot length is greater than zero then what you want to do we want to say that undo dot enabled equals true else undo dot enabled equals false and redo dot enabled equals false okay so let's test this out whether it works or not let's see first there is nothing in here now I'm gonna say hello now it says undo and then redo read in it is working okay very good that that's it that is all I think this is working now it is cut copy paste and deletes turn so what we'll do and we'll just call them go to edit click double click on cut and we are gonna say main textbook main rich textbox dot cut okay then we go to copy and say main rich textbox dot copy
after that we go to paste and we get say main rich text box dot paste then we go to delete and we say main respect text box dot delete there is no delete so you we say selected text equals nothing means whatever we have selected let it be equal to nothing means delete it okay so when we run this there will be a problem now you see okay when I add this the button which are disabled are still disabled because there is nothing and there is no condition applied that if text length is greater than zero then it should be enabled there is no condition like that so we have to give it that condition double click in here and we say if text box uh, if main rich text box dot text dot length is greater than zero then we want the cut dot enabled equals true and we want the uh, copy dot enabled equals true okay oh and if the, the length is less than zero we say what we say let this be false and let's let this be false okay now let's try it out uh, first let's save everything and we're gonna try this hello my name is Ali okay now I select this I just cut this and come back in here and paste this okay now as you can see the text uh, the cut copy is enabled and undo is also enabled but if I delete everything, cut, copy, undo, and redo are disabled. Okay, this is working. You can try it out. And now the next step would be to use the select all and delete. The first thing we would do with select all would be right click in here and say disable. Similar step you have to take in here. You have to disable this. You have to disable this. You have to disable this, and you have to disable this as I have shown you earlier. Okay. So select all. You would say main rich text box dot select uh, select all. Okay. That's all. Now what now this is disabled we want it to be enabled when mm, there is some text change or there is the length of text is greater than zero so you say select all dot enabled equals true okay but when there is no text you have to say that disable it disable it basically okay now as you can see there is no text so there is these are disabled but if there is text these will be all enabled very good right now it is time for the date and time okay so we go in here double click and we are gonna say main rich text box dot text plus equals plus equals or I can say equals main reach text box dot text plus um, you can say date time dot now and there should be another plus and here you should have this okay uh, well, it is not important, I think. Just check this out then. Now what? Uh, whatever is... Uh, if you press F5, date and time will appear. Simple as that. Okay. So, uh, the good thing is that you don't have to type this again. You, uh, you say main rich text box plus and then this. What we are doing is we are saying that main rich text box equals main rich text box plus this as we have written earlier it is same if you just add plus in here you don't have to write this again okay 
and that's I think for these buttons these are done these buttons are done now we are going to be doing these four buttons bold italic underline and strike out so let's go for the bold we're gonna say main rich xbox dot selection font equals new then we're gonna say font and what is the new font new font is the first you have to type with the prototype you have to uh, we are gonna say uh, main rich text box dot front and what do you want to do with it we have to say front style dot bold we want to make it bold okay just copy this because you are be using you will be using this for everything then now go to italic apply this and all you have to do is like the italic version of it italic from the uh, intelligence now under line go in here dot underline then you go to strike out go in here dot strike out now there is a last one we'll say it is called uh, normal we don't have it but we need it so you go from here you add it at the top you set the image and you go for normal it isn't here let's check it out and get rid of this this is called normal text just enable this and that's all we have the normal text what is normal normal is in here it is called regular okay and these this is good I mean now this is working but for me I think these all should be disabled so you have to disable them if there is nothing what are you formatting you aren't formatting the thing now what you do is click in here and select the um, bold dot enabled goes true now this is also working good as you can see nothing is working but if you type something then there is now it is working okay guys we are done with this uh, one last tip would be if you go in here you see that you see that this there is this space or the there is this separator how do you add this separator well basically all you do is you type minus and that's all you go you can go up in here somewhere and add the separator that's all thank you guys for watching and make sure to like because as i told you it's really important for me i'll see how these videos work if these videos were good i'll be creating more of these if they don't i don't want to waste more of my time so make sure to like subscribe and make sure to say thank you if it was helpful bye bye